Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this muzzle flash effect all inside of After Effects. So without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, so I got a Nerf Rival here because that's what I'm going to be using and I also don't really have anything else. And yeah, so let's start off with shooting the footage and the gun. So, whenever you get up, I'm sure you already know this technique, but I want to make it clear is that Whenever you shoot the gun, you want to have some jerk as the kick back to the gun. You want to emulate that in the effect. So whenever you pull the trigger, just kind of get some motion. All right. So now let's film that. All right, guys. I'm here in After Effects, and I'm ready to get this clip edited into an awesome effect that you could use in your short film or really whatever you want. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is import the clip that we just recorded. If it's too small like this, then just press Control Option F on Windows or Command Option F on Mac. And that'll size it to the composition so it's nice and snug. Now I'm going to go and find the part where I'm actually acting and then just trim it so that's the only part that's in the clip. So this is the beginning of it. So I'm going to press Command Shift D because I'm using a Mac. But once again, if you're on Windows, you just press Control Shift D. Then you find the end. Just trim it again. Then you could take these little bars and drag it to the beginning and the end, just like that. Now right click on the little gray space above it and hit trim comp to work area. Now our entire composition is just the part where we're acting. Awesome. Okay, now we need a muzzle flash to add on top of the gun. So I got one from the internet. It's in the first link in the description below if you want to use it in your effect. So I have it right here. You can see that's what it looks like. I'm just going to drag it right into my composition. You can see it has a black background. Now that's gonna look pretty dumb if we just have that over it, right? So to get rid of the black background, it's actually very, very simple. So right over here in the layer panel, you'll see that we have this option called mode, right? And we want to change mode to screen. And boom, that's it. If you don't see mode, then you can hit this toggle switches slash modes button down here and then just do it until you do see the mode option. So yeah, it looks like a muzzle flash, but I feel like it needs some extra glowiness. So to do that, just search for glow over here and drag it right on top. You can see that doesn't look that great. So just mess around with the settings. I'm gonna bring up the threshold and drag up the radius. I think that looks nice. You can see the before and after of the glow. It just adds a kind of aura around it. So now we're gonna go and find the part right before the kickback starts. So that would be this frame right here. And then just place the muzzle flash right on top. And now we're gonna trim the muzzle flash so it only lasts one frame. So boom, boom, you only see it for a split second, all right? So you can trim it there and then just go forward so it ticks and press Command Shift D or Control Shift D and delete the last half. And now you can see we get that. Awesome, right? Okay, I'm just gonna go through the clip and repeat those exact same steps for every single time I have the jerk back. One tip to do it a lot faster is you could just duplicate the first layer. And then if you drag this little bar in, it lets you zoom in and you could just take it and drag it over. And also, if you want, you could rotate or change the size of the muzzle flash every time you put it on. That way it looks a little bit different and more natural. So I've gone through and added muzzle flashes to every single gunshot, but as you can see, there's still something missing, the sound. So I just went online and found a YouTube video with a gunshot. I downloaded it, and now I have it in the composition. I will leave a link to the video down below. You can hear that's what it sounds like. So this is actually really easy. We're just going to find these little muzzle flash layers. These are the purple ones that might be a different color for you. And we're just gonna take this realistic gunshot and line it up with the beginning. Then we could duplicate it by pressing Command D or Control D on Windows, like that. And then just drag it so it's lined up with the beginning of the next one. Then go to the last one, duplicate the layer, du duplicate the layer, and drag it right there. And there you go, we are almost done. But if you want to add one more element of realism, what we could do is pre-compose all of these layers just by selecting all of them and then right-clicking and hitting pre-compose. And hit OK. And then we could scale it up a little bit and frame it so it's right over there. And then just search for wiggle. And you'll see this option comes up, wiggle position. Just drag that onto the pre-comp. And 
and there, now you have kind of a moving camera. All right guys, that is how you make a muzzle flash effect inside of After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video and even learned something new. If you wanna hit that big red subscribe button right down below, that would immensely help out the channel. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.